Sierra Foothill League softball action as Del Oro takes on Granite Bay in Granite Bay. We start off with a first inning RBI single by junior Courtney Smith that scores sophomore Molly Folks as Del Oro got off to an early 1-0 lead. Then here's a two-run single by San Francisco State bound Hannah Miller. Del Oro scored three runs in the first inning. But Granite Bay, well, the Grizzlies came right back. They scored four runs in the bottom half of the first inning, including this RBI single by Kristen Kupershek. But Zuza Pacific bound senior pitcher Carly Zeppelias settled in to only give up one run in the final six innings for the Golden Eagles. But it was a grueling 45-minute first inning and a half that head coach Sean Erickson said was abnormal. I don't think we've ever had an inning and a half like that. Both teams combined for 13 of the game's 15 runs in the first two innings, including this RBI single by Miller, which gives Delora a 5-4 lead, which the four-time SFL champs would not give up as they beat Granite Bay 10-5. The win also gets Delora back to 500 in SFL action after a 7-1 win on Monday at Nevada Union. Here is a leadoff triple in the third inning by junior Taylor Haynes. Haynes goes on to score as the next batter leadoff hitter, Molly Folks, gets a nice saying I single here. That would be the last run, though, that Delaware would score until an insurance run in the seventh inning. But that would be plenty for the Golden Eagles. As Zeppelius and even the Geese out in right field settle in just fine. Here's the 14th and final strikeout for the senior. Those 14 strikeouts, one short of a season-high 15. Great outing for the Eagles and for senior Carly Zeppelius. Let's listen in to the senior and head coach about the win. All right, Carly, uh, tough run for you on the mound in the first inning. You settled down, uh, finished with 14 strikeouts. Just talk about, you know, how the game started and then how you were able to settle in after that. Uh, it started off a little bumpy. I mean, my pitching wasn't the best that it could have been. Um, but, I mean, I pushed through it, and my team picked me up, especially on offense, and we got some really good hits. Um, as the innings went on, I got more comfortable, and I adjusted to the umpire's calling and to um, what I was doing wrong, and I fixed it. So, yeah, I just kind of settled in there. You know, she's been. And then, it's the way she throws for us. A lot of times she takes care of her business immediately, and then other times she'll start a little bit slow. But by the end of the game, she always cleans it up and makes good, solid adjustments. That's why she's been solid in the circle all year. Obviously, you, you know, you talked last week about... 0-2 start isn't normal for you guys in league right. play. You're back to 500. Is this the right step for you? This is absolutely the step we need to take, and I think it's probably good to get that slow start, if you will, from the standpoint it can teach you early what you don't want to learn late, and it's better to get those bumps and bruises out early, heal from them, recover from them, build some strength, maybe a callus, if you will, play better, and that's exactly what we're going to do. And you're a big energy guy. Um, is that one of the biggest things that you're trying to instill in the girls this year is to – 